Hey guys, today we're going to be installing Ghost Lock by JDI, which is by far the best GPS tracking system on the market. Stay tuned to see how that works. for you guys so I kind of dabbled in it already but this is how it comes so we have the relays right over here we have the tracking device itself and then of course the wiring harness which is just plug and play really easy to install we've got these zip ties and of course our JDI ghost lock stickers Super awesome, represent. And these warnings right here that I will be reviewing with you. So I'm gonna paint a little scenario for you all. So let's just say you got your car painted. You got some nice new wheels on your car. You drive it home, you're all proud. You're looking at your car, so cute. And you park it in your driveway, lock it on up, and you head on inside, take a shower, get ready for your hot date later tonight. Sanchito's gonna get some. <laughs> so you're all ready for your date. You come back out, it's been a really, really good day, and there is no car in your driveway. So, so sad. I know a lot of people in the Honda scene can relate to this. I know I can relate to this kind of scenario, but what do you do? So you call the police, and you let them know about the situation, and have them put out like a search for your car. You hit up all your homies on Instagram, and hope that maybe somebody gets the message and looks out for your car, but most of the time, you're SOL. So it is so frustrating, guys. We put so much time, effort, and money into our bills. I know you all can relate to me. It really hurts the soul. I hate not having that control. I freaking hate it. I hate just relying on the police to hopefully find it, probably strip somewhere. Um, I know a lot of you guys in the Honda scene can relate, so you feel my pain. You get the scenario. I'm sure you all have been there. So this is where Ghost Lock comes in play. They literally, JDI designed this whole system for people like us. JDI has this covered. So this is a GPS tracker for your car. It is so easy to install and I will be installing it for you today. It's very plug and play. You can go ahead and hide it, but what's so cool about it is you can always keep tabs on where your car is. You can set alerts to when your car is being moved, if it's outside of a certain radius, if it falls below a certain battery voltage. So it has all these different settings, very customizable to what you're used to and how you know that you can keep tabs on your own car. Freaking love it. It has so many more features. One really, really cool thing about this is it has a geofencing. So if it goes out, if your car goes out of a certain radius, it'll send you a text or an email um, letting you know that. It also has a remote kill switch, which will cut power to the fuel pump. So you have control of that on your mobile device. In addition to real time GPS tracking. So how this compares to, let's say something else on the market, for example, LoJack, the down side of low jack is once you get your vehicle stolen you have to call the police then you call low jack now they're in communication with each other and no one's letting you know anything which is horrible so ghost lock gets you involved you have control you can see where your car is which is awesome you can track your car on your phone give that information to the police and you can get your car back as soon as possible. That's the kind of system we need, and that's what JDI provided to us. While I'm on that note, here's the warning that JDI provides to us. So never attempt to recover the vehicle yourself. So important, always contact the authorities. Have them do everything for you. Just use this tool as a way to get your vehicle back faster. So never disable the vehicle while in motion. Obviously we know that we have that control, Let's not get anybody killed, please. Super simple and common sense, but has to be said. Now that all the formalities are out of the way, let's get this installed. To start the install, first things first, we have to remove the battery and the battery tray slot. So I have three 12 millimeter bolts here. And the orientation is like so. 
and I went ahead and removed that from there. Next step is to take the main power wire and feed that through the grommet right down below. So the way I put the wire through was I got this box cutter. I made a little slit in the grommet there and I fed the wire through the grommet to the other side and have this here so that it keeps it nice and secure. Once that is done, we're gonna take the main power wire and connect that to the alternator charge wire. Okay, so now the wire is installed. Let's move on to the next step. We are moving into the interior of the car. So just for convenience sake, I went ahead and removed the glove box. I removed the side panel here and then this side skirt panel right down here, so exposing all the wires. I use this interior trim tool to remove the side panels. This is just something really cheap that I got maybe for $5 off of Amazon. I guess you could use a screwdriver, but this is better for protecting your side panels. So the power cord comes in two pieces, which makes it a lot easier for us to install. You guys saw how I fed the first piece through so that it comes out behind the glove box. And then I have the second piece here. So I went ahead and zip tied the relay ports right up here, and that's where I will be installing the relays. Now I have the second power cord that needs to be connected to that first part that we installed, like so. Just like that. Now I'm gonna install those two relays into the ports that I showed you. like so. Now it's time to neatly zip tie our cord and feed it along the side panel here and feed it all the way to the back of the car so that it reaches the fuel pump. As you can see, I've mocked up the main harness with these zip ties along the side panel here. Now I need you guys to follow me to the back seat so I can show you where the harness connects. So now we are in the back seat. This is where the magic happens, guys. It is time to remove this fuel pump cover so we can expose where we need to connect the harness. In case you're wondering why my back seat isn't here, I actually had to remove it to get access to the fuel pump, so you might have to do so as well. Ooh, all crusty. Just like I like it. <laughs> okay, ooh, spider web. <laughs> okay, so I'm definitely afraid of spiders now. So, yeah. While I'm back here, I just wanted to show you how I fished the wiring harness through. So I fished this through the quarter panel interior back piece right over here. And you can see like so, right over here, and then all the way down that way. So that I can easily align this here with the fuel pump. Let me just tell you guys, your girl was struggling right now. This is a really, really easy install and literally the most annoying thing ever was neatly getting the wiring harness through this guy. It was so horrible, but I had to cut a little bit of it. I finally got it through. Other than that, it's been a breeze. <laughs> so the next step is to remove this plug here from the fuel pump. And we are gonna be connecting this to the JDI wiring harness. So it's gonna go here, like so. Voila. So this connection becomes the signal wire for the ghost lock. And now we're gonna connect our harness right here into the fuel pump. Okay, like so. Yep, everything's locked in place. As you can see, I have the fuel pump cover on. I have everything mocked up. Um, I attached the wiring harness to ground right over here since that's the bolt that I use to bolt the seats down anyway. Um, but yeah, guys, just so you can see here, it was really, really simple. Like I said, the hardest part was feeding this through um, 
to the fuel pump and yeah that was kind of a butt but other than that it's been really really simple so let's move on to the next step okay we are in the front seat again you guys have me in the back but you missed your chance back there okay and now we're in the front seat so you gotta be quick when it comes to girls like me I'm pretty hard to get so anyway let's move on to the next step so I wanted to um, introduce this. So this is the tracker itself. Um, you will be placing this somewhere throughout the car. You don't want to have anything metal over it. Um, just for safety and security purposes, I'm not going to be telling you guys where I'm putting it. But it attaches like so. So it goes in like so. And of course, for security purposes, I won't be telling you guys where I'm hiding this in my car, but I did want to plug it in so I can go ahead and demonstrate how it works. This is me just opening up the TrackMate app so you can see how it works. I'm just gonna wiggle on out of here so you don't see exactly where I live, but just kind of taking you through the menu here. We have our map. We can do or visit our history and see all the places that we've been in the past. I'm gonna get on out of here and go to our assets perfect so you guys see my queen brz car is there you can get notifications and you can see all that obviously you can modify your settings so really really easy to use love it next i'm going to be setting up a geofence so just for this example i'm going to be using disneyland and of course i can set up my asset which is my car I'm gonna enter in the address here. So what's really cool about this feature is once my car leaves this location, I will get a notification. And then of course, I can set up my radius. So right now I have it at 700 feet. It is adjustable, but once it leaves that radius, you also get a notification. As you can see here, this app does use Google Maps, so you have full access to that at all times. Um, the carriers are AT&T and T-Mobile, so you have full coverage all the time. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. Okay guys, so here I am going to set up my vehicle profile. So as you can see, I'm changing my vehicle identification number to Queen BRZ EK, just to personalize that a little bit. So we have the license plate here. I'm gonna go ahead and set the speed limit for 80. So if it goes above 80, I'm gonna get a notification that my car is going above that threshold or that speed limit. We have our speed threshold here at 100. And then of course, I'm driving a car. We're gonna do the make, scrolling down here to Honda. Okay, so now we are able to customize our year. So we have all this updated in our profile. And of course you can see that we have our voltage. I'm just gonna go ahead and save those changes and we are all set. Alrighty, so as you can see, we have everything put back together. The last step is to hide the GPS tracker. Um, but again, for safety purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. So I went ahead and downloaded the TrackMate app and that is compatible with Apple and Android. So for both users, you're all good to go. As we can do the app a little bit, it looks like they have different plans um, that you can purchase. So of course they're monthly plans, but the most expensive one was like $16.99. So $16.99 to ensure the security of your car in the event that something tragic happens, I'd say it's worth it. I also wanted to make note that JDI has universal adapters for any vehicle with an electric fuel pump. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a Honda that you're driving. Any car pretty much um, will be able to be compatible with this TrackMate GPS tracker. Aside from the universal adapters, JDI is also making plug and play kits for the RSX, EP3 Honda Civic and the S2000. So stay tuned guys, it is still in the works, but that is something that you can all be looking forward to. I can go for days talking about how amazing this product is. Honestly guys, I love it, you need it, keep your car safe, keep those tabs, and just for you, all of my subscribers, you can get 50 off using my code QueenBRZ, which is so awesome. Um, so definitely go ahead and take advantage of that. I will link everything down below so that you have direct access to that. I'll also go ahead and link JDI's uh, videos on these so that you can see if they touch on something that maybe I didn't get to today, but definitely worth it. Keep your cars safe and give yourself that peace of mind. But that's pretty much all I have for today. So 
So before I leave, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my boys at Race Comp Engineering. I've been rocking their gear today. They are always so great. Love them. Anyways, until next time, Queen BRZ out.